now that... Still a break when interest... Tony Abbott has vowed to tackle a budget emergency while delivering a campaign-style budget reply speech. Never seen a budget uh, that has been in worse structural shape than this. We're dealing with a budget emergency by identifying where the bodies are buried. The August 2013 economic statement estimates that the budget deficit for this financial year will be $30.1 billion, the sixth deficit in a row. The coalition repeatedly stated before the election that we have a budget emergency. Now they have been elected, the Australian people expect them to act decisively and quickly to solve our budget problems. Since 2006 to 2007, government spending has significantly outstripped revenue. Gross public debt has risen to $250 billion. This is a problem not only for Australians today, but worryingly for future generations. The more debt the government accumulates now, the more taxes our children must shoulder to pay off that debt, plus interest. The solution is obvious. The government needs to cut spending. We have come up with a plan to cut $20 billion of federal government spending in our emergency budget repair kit. Here are just a few examples. Abolish family tax benefit for Part B and the school kids bonus and refocus family payments on low income families. Government should stop giving taxpayer money to corporations. It's inefficient, harms productivity and doesn't protect jobs. We don't need two levels of government doing the same thing. We can abolish the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Education and leave their functions for the states. We can also abolish the SBS because we don't need two publicly funded broadcasters duplicating content. The coalition can't ring fence health. We need to cut wasteful health programs that are rorted by providers and consumers. GP management plans are just lining doctors' pockets and mental health rebates are just a new form of middle class welfare. Repairing the budget deficit is the first step to reducing government spending overall. It's part of our broader plan called Target 30, which aims to get government spending below 30% of GDP within 10 years. Let's reduce the size of government for a more prosperous Australia.